In this video, I want to discuss the physics behind the posture one makes while standing up a chair. To this end, let us first have a look on the possible ways a person follows in standing up a chair. To stand up, a person bends forward. The degree of bending depends on the size and weight of the person. The other way to stand up is to bring your feet below the chair and rightly position it under your lower limb. The third way is to firmly grasp the handle of the chair or press it with your hands in the downward direction. Is this something psychological or is there a basic a natural principle of physics that compels you to follow one of the three possible ways in standing up a chair. Let me tell you this, if you manage to stand up otherwise, you are challenging the principle of gravity. Before I come to explain the principle involved in the situation, you better go through what you are watching on the screen. Subscribe like and share the three steps. When a person sits straight up in a chair like the one shown here, the center of gravity lies close to the spine a few centimeters above the navel like, like shown with the blue circle at the close to the arm. If we drop a perpendicular from the center of gravity, it passes through the chair behind the feet with a distance shown by the dotted line. The feet supports the weight of that part of the body whose center of gravity passes through the area bounded by the soles of the feet. In this particular pose, only the weight of the legs below the knees is supported by the feet. For the feet to support the weight of the whole body and enable the person to stand up, the person has to shift the center of gravity to the area bounded by the soles of the feet. For that reason, the, the person bends forward like you see in the picture. For different size and weight, the degree of bending is obviously different. Since in this pose, the center of gravity now passes right through the area bounded by the soles of the feet, the feet can easily support the weight of the whole body and the person can stand up. In the second case, the person shifts the area bounded by the sole to the position where the center of gravity passes directly through it, thereby supporting the weight and again enabling the person to stand up. In the third case, holding the handles of the chair firmly, the center of gravity lies within the area bounded by the supporting hands and connection to the legs of the chair and thus enabling the person to stand up the chair. So it is the principle of gravity that compels the person to adopt a pose in such a way that the center of gravity passes through the area bounded by the supporting hands or by the supporting feet. Otherwise, the principle of the center of gravity won't allow the person to stand up.